engage in new possibilities, a new life, you can rewrite everything. Ed is a very seemingly on the face of it, happy guy who works on a railway. He is a man given to a facade, really, of great cheerfulness and happiness, and, but he has got this deep, deep sorrow in him, which is his son is mentally not right. I had read the original story, and in the original story, there is no Sam character. So I think what Jack, the writer's done, was just gorgeous, is he's, he's put the, the Sam character in, which gives it a bit more of a heart. When you lose control, does it feel like anger? Yeah. That's interesting, isn't it? Is it? Dad. Linda is someone who turns up in Ed's life unexpectedly and she offers an out into this sort of surreal, perfect world of Macon Heights where you can exist without the, the pain of reality, really. It exists, Ed. You just don't want to believe it can exist. Because it makes you happy. And you're not used to being happy. Well, we're filming this in this incredible town, real town called Poundbury. It's really beautiful. It has kind of no street markings. Everything's pristine. All the buildings are new, but kind of look as if they existed in different eras. It's a really amazing location. The story will just get sadder and sadder. And that should be my story too. It's a very simple journey on my level, but an immensely clever, uh, resonant journey. Uh, asked many questions about all of what do we face up to in our lives and so on and so forth. If we could take away those things that are painful in life and that hurt us and that trouble us, then would we do it? And would that be a, as good as it sounds? Would that be a perfect reality? Or do we need those moments to make the happiness seem that much better? You made the wrong choice, Ed. I wish I could have saved you. <laughs>